Good morning from New Hampshire once again. This morning at the Lincoln Woods Trailhead, and today going to be trail running slash hiking the Pemigewasset or Pemi Loop. For a full guide on this one, you can check the link in the description below. So back in New Hampshire with another classic planned for today. This time, unlike the Prezi Traverse where I really just hiked it, I'm going to try to be peppering in some more running today. So the Pemi Loop, 30-ish miles, 11,000 to 12,000 feet of gain, depending on where you look, I'll tell you at the end. There's so many variations of this. You can start off by doing counterclockwise first, which brings you up Mount Flume, and then over to Lincoln, Lafayette, et cetera, et cetera. This is a classic New Hampshire backpacking trip, hike, trail run, however you wanna segment it up. I'm doing it in a day today. It's hot and humid. Yeah, really looking forward to this challenge. I'm fresh off of a 50 miler and training for my next 100, so I feel like I'm in pretty good shape. My two kryptonites are heat and humidity, and luckily for me, I get both today. This is pretty much your biggest decision of the day. If you go left towards Mount Flume, that is the counterclockwise way, or you can keep going straight towards Franconia Falls. Today, I'm gonna be doing this counterclockwise. Not really a ton of rhyme or reason, besides the point that Mount Flume is a little bit more gradual climb to start the day, and then I'll be up on the ridge line for not the whole day, but for the majority of it. Yeah, you could easily go the other way. I'm kind of banking on saving those miles for the end when and my legs are a little bit more tired of technical stuff and I can kind of just mindlessly run down that uh, dirt path. Although most people do this in multi-days, can be done in a day and in order to do that, really need to be well prepared in my bag today. Well, vest, big vest. So I have a two and a half liter water bladder. And I got this guy for tailwind electrolytes and then lots of food the typical 10 essentials i have a light jacket a rain jacket there's no plan that i'm gonna need it but jic of course with a day that's this complicated and so many trails having a map is awesome i'm using onyx backcountry it's great because i can have the route downloaded to my phone so i don't need service and what's even better is i can download a high res map so i can see where water sources will be to kind of plan out pumping. All this starts beforehand, but having this the day of is so crucial. So let's talk more about the Pemi Loop for a second. So as I mentioned, the Pemi Loop is a 30 mile loop starting at the Lincoln Woods Trailhead. And as you can see by the blue line here has a couple of variations. But in general, if you're gonna go counterclockwise, you're gonna start up, hit Mount Flume over to uh, Mount Liberty, onto Little Haystack, onto Mount Lincoln, Lafayette, Garfield, and uh, then there are some options that you have once you get to the Gale Hut Head Hut. Gale Head Mountain here is a bonus, and then you can also see there's like a super Pemi loop that if you were to go to North Twin and then kind of loop back to Mount Guyot, uh, you could add on to your day as well. But in general, you don't do that on the standard. West Bond here, also a bonus. Finishing over to Mount Bond, and then Bond Cliff before you descend, and then run that long, flat section along the uh, river here. If you want to check out Onyx for yourself, use my discount code in the link, which gives you 20% off a yearly subscription. All the gear I'm using is also linked in the description below. If it's not linked, I don't stand behind it, so I'm not gonna recommend it. First views on the way up to Mount Flume. You meander around this climb for a bit and then it's just straight up. One summit down, Mount Flume. Someone was up there enjoying their breakfast and want to be yapping in the camera. Yeah, 4.6 miles, 3,100 feet of gain. And now you continue on Franconia Ridge Trail here. I'm moving very slow today. I'm not a good trail runner in normal conditions, frankly, uh, but 
it, the climbs are just so diesel. I'm really trying to save my legs. So hopefully on some of these descents here, I can pick up some time. But if not, just gonna keep it at as many runnable sections as I can and power hike the rest. Peak two of the day. We got Lincoln here. Show you some views, but hot already, but clear, so can't complain about that. Nobody up here but one other gentleman. Next up we go kinda there. 6.5 miles in with 3,700 feet climbing. On to the next one. I stand corrected, that was Liberty. I haven't hit Lincoln yet. I was gonna say, I don't think I've been up this one before. And it didn't look too familiar. So, new summit. Second new summit in New Hampshire for me. Next up, kind of descend, some flats. Lincoln is somewhere right there, I believe, and then that's Lafayette. Approaching our third summit of the day, Lincoln. It's a zoo up there, so I'll fill you in right now what's going on. Looking back, Liberty Flume started on the other side there. Next up, you have one of the best hikes on its own, tagging Lincoln Lafayette and doing it, but really straightforward. 8.3 miles in, 4,500 feet of gain. Next up is uh, Lafayette. Keep screwing up summits. That was a little haystack before. This is Lincoln. That's that is Lafayette. Just about nine miles and five thousand feet of climbing so far. Lafayette, fifth of the day. 5,300 feet of gain, just about 10 miles in. Next up, you can kind of see your route. It goes down there, over, over, and then back. Trail junction here, you're gonna continue on the ridge this way. If you did needed water, you could go down to the Lafayette hut there. However, there'll be water in, I don't know, five, six miles or so. So I think I'm okay. I'm just gonna keep uh, pushing on here. Just beautiful out. You got Cannon ski area. That is the Lafayette hut. And then looking over, super hot today. I actually just ran into a guy who said that Mount Washington could set like a heat and humidity record. So really great day to be running 30 miles. And really straightforward if you kind of know the general direction which you definitely should if you're about to go run 30 miles so far i will say that water has been scarce there have been puddles that i'm not trying to drink of but i could if i actually needed to it's just so damn hot today i'm drinking a lot and i'm like barely running because honestly heat stroke is going to be a real concern if I don't stay hydrated and I get too uh, high heart rate. So, sucks. So it'll take me longer than I probably want, but better than uh, having a bad situation up here. Steep and gnarly. I know that I probably should be jogging or trying to run some of this, but man, this humidity 
and he is no joke. Summit of Garfield, more or less. 13 miles in, 6,500 feet of climbing, six peak of the day. Super hot, but the breeze up here is nice. Looking back to where we came from here. Huge bummer, as I thought there was a hut near Garfield. There is notably not. It's at Gale, which is like two and a half miles from here. So, whew, it's gonna be a long stretch in between water because I'm out and you can see the sweat coming off my face. Just a kind of a quick note, I guess, from Lafayette to here, it's been almost impossible for me personally to run. Just super steep, wet, and muddy from all the rain recently. So just kind of trotting along here. I found a little watershed that I was able to filter and get some tailwind. I'll uh, wait until Gail had to fill my uh, bladder, but got some good pounds of cold, fresh water. Really feeling better now. Closer, Gale Hut, right there. And that's Gale Head Peak, I believe. I had two bonus mountains, Gale Head and West Bond. And then there's a bonus North Twin. And they told me that North Twin uh, is a crap summit. So that one's an easy elimination. So I just cut off three-ish miles right there. Still gonna be over 30 today. If you didn't need to stop, you can just keep going to the left. But I am gonna tag Gale Head Mountain and stop at the hut here. That is the Galehead Mountain. This is not technically along the Pemi Loop, so you don't have to tag this one. And it does require backtracking and extra mileage. Looking back down to the hut, and then you got most of your remaining route in front of you. This is the only view viewpoint from uh, Galehead. This is some New Hampshire shit right here. This is Galehead Summit. <laughs> Would you look at these views? It's called a green summit, green top. No views here, but seven peaks in the books. South Twin is next and head into the right. Great thing about knowing absolutely nothing about any of these trails or mountains is I have no idea what to expect next. I think I've read somewhere that this climb sucks or is technical or both. I don't know. Obviously, I'll find out shortly. Quick update on mileage, about 17 in with uh, 7,800 feet of climbing. So quite a bit still to climb. Update, it's very steep. Just looked it up on Onyx, a thousand feet under a mile. Yikes. You know, these really don't look like much on this camera, but I swear to you, these are diesel climbs. Fucking A. Wow, that sucked. The summit of South Twin, I think. I bailed on it, but if you wanted to add on North Twin, 1.3 miles each way. Otherwise, your view is kind of in sight here. So rolling over, West Bond, detour, Bond, get the hell back down to the car. South Twin, lots of bugs flies I probably see them in my freaking camera I'm getting swarmed I think 
I think I'm a pig because I smell so bad. Stat update, 9,100 feet of climbing, just shy of 18 miles. I am so hot. Jesus, I wanna jump in a river right now. I know what all you New Englanders are thinking. Let's compare Pemi to the Presidential Traverse. Obviously I have a lot to go still on this one, but if we're gonna do apples to apples, I have about two miles left on the Presidential Traverse. Difficulty wise, it's hard for me to compare because I did that a couple of years ago, but I think this is way harder. The other main difference is that there's just far less views on this when you get to most summits there are, but in between outside of the Little Haystack, Lincoln, Traverse, most of this is in the trees. And again, maybe that'll change at the end, but the Presidential Traverse is almost entirely above tree line, which is good and bad. Day like today where it's ripping hot and no cloud coverage you might want to be below trees a bit you might want that tree coverage as well if storms are rolling in but yeah like pound for pound that one so far is definitely better in terms of views difficulty this is uh i think way harder obviously my weather day here is not helping me whatsoever if this was like a nice crispy fall day who knows how I'd be feeling, but I'm currently trying not to get heat stroke. So quite different than what I just gave in that scenario. The other thing is just like way, way, way more big climbs on this. If memory serves me correctly on the presidential, you have like your initial one or two, and then it's not terrible, but this is, seems like constant climbing bugs in my eye yeah i would definitely recommend carrying at least three liters depending on the weather i'm carrying three today and i feel like i'm not anywhere near having enough So you do want to go right. I think Mount Guya is right over here. So I'm going to go snag that real quick. I'm going to call this the summit. I have no idea. It's close enough. Mount Guya. I'm so happy to see this. This is uh, down at the bottom of the Guyot campsite area. Watershed, let's go. This is my last summit detour of the day. West Pond here. Probably didn't even need that water that I just got, but one less thing to worry about. I think West Pond is about 0.5 each way. So another mile, something like that. Summit of West Pond. Good look at the rest of your route, actually. So you got, I think this is Bond, Bond Cliff, down, way the hell out that way. Uh, West Bond, you can see the views up here. I would say it was worth it. Just about 0.6 miles each way. So at this point, what's mileage anymore anyway? All of the calories I've been eating are finally hitting me. Feeling good. Summit of Mount Bond. Anybody needs proof? Oh, not as good as views as West Bond, but still pretty awesome up here. 22 and a quarter miles, 10.5 uh, in elevation. On to uh, the last summit of the day. Let's get it. My other note when comparing this to the uh, presidential traverse, and maybe I'm like the last person, but I highly doubt that. There is just nobody doing this. Like ran into two other girls who were doing it 
and literally that's it. Theoretically, yeah, people could be like done ahead of me and I'm sure there were a couple that I saw early on that might have been. I probably saw maybe two other trail runners coming the opposite way doing Pemi. Oh, don't want to get any closer. My tired, my tired ass will fall down. What a view. Okay, summit of uh, the Quest Cliff or I don't know, something. Cliff, Bond Cliff. That's looking all the way back. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. That update, 23 and a half, 10, eight. What a day. Still got like six, seven, whatever, eight to go. Looking down. That is the last summit of the day. You are far from done. So first up, you gotta just descend this mountain. Then I'm hearing mixed reports, but let's let's call it four to five to six miles of uh, road hiking, running. Yes, you're close to being done. No, you're not done yet. Of course, the sun comes out after I leave. Oh, lots of stream crossings, lots and lots and lots of mud for me today. Yeah, it's very monotonous. You can run a lot of this, so that's what I've been doing, but it just feels like it goes on forever. Hopefully, soon we'll be back on that dirt road, have about three miles and should be getting to the car right as it gets dark. Yeah, I guess I go back to doubling down on presidential traverse versus this. This is great. It's a epic day and probably a better backpack. You just spend a lot of time in the woods like this. And it's why I don't film a ton in here. It's very monotonous and buggy. All right, back on the uh, Lincoln Woods Trail, the old railroad it looks like. This is definitely runnable, so that's what I'm gonna do. And I'll uh, see you guys at the car to wrap this thing up. Definitely gonna be north of 30 miles, but that's not surprising considering all the extras we did today. Hopefully we'll get to the car right as the sun sets. And then on the way home, I am so screwed in terms of food. Nothing is gonna be open and I'm like a ravenous animal right now. Woof. <laughs> You know, I always leave New Hampshire pretty humbled. I felt like I was in really good shape and I came out here and wanted to finish this thing in like 12 hours. This is about 15. So definitely not the running I wanted to do. Well, today didn't go exactly how I wanted to, but my last four miles were my fastest and strongest of the day. So. The old adage, finish strong, I guess I'm happy with that. 32 and a half miles, give or take a little bit, with about 11,000 feet of climbing. And I did all the extra variations, so if you just did the regular Pemi, you'd be under 11 for sure. If you're new to my channel, I do full guides on everything I shoot, so you can figure out everything you need to know about the GPX file, about water sources, about Parking. I didn't touch on camping, obviously, because I ran unless you blacked out and missed this whole video in one day. But 
I will have information on camping in my uh, full guide as well. So definitely check that out if you're interested in that. To help support the channel, you can uh, join my Patreon, you can shop gear. But hey, at the very least, just throw this video a like and a subscribe if you found it at all helpful. Subscriptions help me grow uh, and show you guys more stuff. If you're new to my channel and from New England, I have a whole New England playlist. If you're just wanting to check out trail runs, I have Rim to Rim, I have the Leadville 100, I have a bunch of 50s uh, for pass loop. So definitely poke around the channel to find what you're interested in. I am going to go die slash find a river to soak in and cool all my joints off. But thank you so, so much for watching. I know this is probably gonna be a long one. As always, we'll see you guys on the next adventure.